You look rough. Bad rough or hot rough? So you're going to pretend that staying out with Chris and Selena was a good idea then? Good times we had, no biggie. Did you even get in? Hey, just raising the flag on our friend in Cube 2. Sorry, were you guys... No, 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 go ahead. What do we got? A frequent flyer. This time it's a sore neck, last time it was a sore shoulder. Drug seeker. Yeah, I'll run the usual ops, of course, but I just wanted to let you know. Right. Hey, I can, um, I can find someone else if you like. Why? No, you've got enough of that on your plate. Oh, no, I'm okay. And Cassie is getting there, by the way. Yeah? Yeah. Small steps, but I can't keep watching your every move. Well, trusting an addict is hard. Hmm. So is not trusting them. Special delivery. Hi, this is Bryce, 38 years old, gunshot wound to the head, GCS9, inch bad on route, but he's lost a lot, and I'm in a lot of blood. Uh, straight through to recess. Okay, theatre two's ready. It's too just... late on the third. But he lost too much blood. We can bring him back. Marty. We have to try. We have. Stop! What are you doing? What is wrong with you? Marty, we did all we could. Sure. Hey. You can't help anyone when you're in this state. Alright? Marty, you need to get your head straight. Yes, it's me. Sorry, I've been a bit flat out today, but I've got to breathe now. So if you could just give me a call. Thanks. Hey. Hey, um, I just talked to the family. Right. He was a dad. Twins. His partner was beside herself. What about you? How are you doing? Hey. Hey. Hey, yes. Um, I have to go, but can you talk to him? Marty? We lost a patient today, and... Fine. You're home. I'm starting to worry, Cassie. Answer your phone next time, will you? <coughs> Cassie? Hey. What's happening? Hey. Oh, honey, what have you done? Are you taking something? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? You're huffing now. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Please. Why would you do this to yourself? <sighs> That's it. Stay with me, honey. <sighs> yeah, I need an ambulance. Now! I could kill her. I swear. She's doing a pretty good job of that herself. What if I hadn't gone home? What if she suffocated? She's stable now. Let's just try and keep it that way. And maybe call it on the death stair. I can't help it. What are you still doing here anyway? Good distraction. <coughs> I mean, oven cleaner? Dave. I'm so sorry. Yeah. You and me both. I mean it. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, then don't. Just stop it. Hey. Just be done with it, Cassie. Stop it. God, why can't you just do that? Okay, let's take a breath for a minute, yeah? I trusted her and this is what happens. Like you said, she's lucky you were there. You know, I did a sweep of the whole house. I poured all the booze down the drain. I emptied the bathroom cupboard. But did I think about the bloody oven cleaner? Well, you want to know she'd try and use it. How desperate would you have to be to poison yourself that way? She's hurting. I reckon she'd do anything to numb the pain. What do I do now? It's not your move. She has to do the work now. You brought you one too. You and they all well overdue to go home. Soon. Ta. She's been asleep while you were away. Mm, like the angel she isn't. How are you, by the way? Fine. Pretty crap day. Yep, it happens. Well, I'm sorry about the gunshot guy. There's nothing for you to be sorry about. Hard on you. Hard on us all. Yeah. God, I'm glad it wasn't the same for her. I reckon we can get her up to a ward soon. Yeah? Okay, well, I'll just check in upstairs. All right, I'll charter meds. Well, they say what doesn't kill us is supposed to make us stronger. All that's a lie and all those tough days slowly eat away at us. And it's death by paper cut. Cassie is going to get better. I hope so. What about you? What about me? You're still not okay, are you? I will be. Okay, 
I just want you to talk to me. Okay, just tell me what the hell you were thinking. Kissy, you're awake. Right. Um, what's going on? Well, I'm just trying to figure out why she would do something so stupid when she could have died. It's good to see that you're doing okay, Kissy. Maeve, can we just talk out here, please? Maeve, I know you're upset, but the important thing is that she's okay. Yeah, because I found her. What if I hadn't gone home? But you did. And now she's here, which is the best place for her. Mm -hmm, for now. But then what? I just follow her around everywhere to make sure it doesn't happen again? No, once you say it's time to recover, you can come up with a plan. She won't listen to me. Yeah, but she's just woken up. Give her time. But time hasn't helped. She is so young. She's been through so much. Harper, I just, I just, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Hey, hey. Actually working today, are you? No, Madonna, no, Nick. Show's gotta go on. Well, you barely slept. Yeah, well, at least with Casey in here, I don't have to worry about what she's doing. Okay, well, please don't push yourself, yeah? That's a lot. A lot of feeling totally helpless. You are there for her, that's important. Yeah, I just wish it was enough, but nothing is ever enough, so. You'll get through this. My brother didn't, hasn't. Who knows? You're not alone, though, okay? If you need anything. I just, I, I don't know what to do, Harper. I don't know what to say. I, I, I did feel like that with Talia. You know, sometimes I talked to her and I just felt like I was banging my head against a brick wall. Yeah, well, that explains my headache. <laughs> but when she did finally get clean, it was for Molly. So, you know, maybe Cassie just needs a purpose. Hard to do when you don't remember what happened to your kid. True. Well, maybe if she gets clean, she will remember and then she'll have something to fight for. Nothing is stronger than the will of a mother, right? <laughs> But I don't need to tell you that. I... Hey. You're not hungry? How are you feeling now? Awesome. Look, I'm sorry that I barked at you. I know it's not entirely helpful, but I think we both know things can't go on like this. Last night you said that you can't seem to stop. You reckon we can dig a bit deeper into that? What more is there to say? You tell me. Honey, I know how overwhelming this must feel sometimes. No, you don't. Cassie. Like, you know the crap that I've been through. Honey, what do you want? To sleep. I feel disgusting. Your baby might be out there, you know. Your son? You don't know that. If he is, how do you want to meet him? Wasted and out of it, or do you want to be ready? Thanks for the TED talk, but go try it on someone else. That's Bishop Hughes. And Mum said we could sleep in there tonight. Back sleeping by the control part room. <laughs> Hey, well, why don't we leave it up for two nights and then you can have a turn each? Yeah! See? Fun, Mum. And make sure you leave it up for when I get home. I don't think we have enough sleeping bags. And when will you be home? Well, the IV antibiotics do seem to be working. <gasps> We're nearly there, too. We can't wait to have you home, but not until you're fully ready. Wait, where's Sky? Yeah? Sky? She's right there. Where did she get to? Sky! Oh, there you are! Found you're trotting off down the hall. Come here, come here. I'll take her from here. Hello. It's Cassie. Say thank you, Cassie. Thank you, Cassie. Mm. One, two, three. Boom, boom. Hey. <laughs> someone, but uh, Cassie found her and looked after her. She was a natural. Nice one. Hey, you go. Oh, yeah. Well, it seems like your talk might have perked her up. No, it actually didn't go very well at all. Right, well, something's working. Yeah, this is good. This is good for her. We will take it easy tonight, okay? 
Takeaways, a movie, whatever. Hey, my helmet's up. This is yours. Oh, thank you. Did you hear the news? About? Possible Ebola case at work. So far it's limited, but Iz is on high alert. So gross. So gross. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I better get these inside. Oh, she seems brighter. Does she? Yeah, we'll get through this, I promise. No one affects her. We'll be able to sort it all out, but I just... I don't know what to do. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Being there for her, listening, no pressure. And hey, we're right next door, so give us a call if you need anything, okay? Thank you, Marty. All right. Come on, team. Bye, Maeve. Bye. Bye, Kitty. <laughs> Cute kids, huh? closer to the third world every day. And that is why I married you, your eternal optimism. A bowler, Ferndale. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Meanwhile, I'm languishing here when I should be at home, neglected, waiting to be zombified. Sugars? Oh. What was I saying? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure. Your uh, general wind has just reached a level that only dogs can hear. Ha, ha. Uh, anyway, the kids miss you. Marley's relaxed a little now. You know you had him on high alert about me freaking out? What? Don't play dumb, Drew. He was really worried that I was going to do a runner if everything got too tough. But, you know, it's okay. He's, um, he's actually happy now. And I have got the day off tomorrow, so... Golden ticket. Send the kids to daycare. Have some you time. Better yet, why don't you come see me? Uh, I am going to go see Maeve. All of that? Yeah, and Cassie. You're doing some drug deals on the side now, but extra cash. Maeve thought it would be good for Cassie. What will be? Sky. Maeve thinks our baby will be good for Cassie, who can't remember if her baby's alive or dead. She's trying, Drew. She's a junkie. Mm. She's just a kid herself. You know, she's, she's, she's got no one. Well, so much for Bright Shine's big turnaround. Justine's love thy neighbour crap obviously doesn't extend to her own daughter. Exactly. So we get to show her that stuff. No, no. I don't think so. True. Are you really going to fight me on this? Cassie had her chance at motherhood. She screwed it up. Right, so you think that mothers don't deserve a second chance? Of course I do. All right, fine. Go ahead, throw our baby to the wolves. Let's see if I can. So what is this? You want me to babysit the kid? No. <clears throat> no, this is just a, a ketchup. Casual coffee. I don't really know how to. <sighs> Cassie, I'm trying to build a community around you. Can you please at least just try? There were enough community Karens at Bright Shine. Okay, well, Hafa is not a Karen. She's cool. She's chill. She's been through some stuff. She could be a good person for you to talk to. Sorry, 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 sorry. We're so late. Sky decided to have an additional nap this morning, and then the second we were getting in the car, Marlene to go to the toilet, didn't he? And then uh, Billy put sauce in their eye. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to write a complaint letter because that lid came off way too easily, didn't it? What? Gross, bollocks. Um, could you? Yeah. Go. Here you go. I'm Team Maeve. Thank you. I'm Team Maeve. Oh, but the good news is they are at school slash daycare and now we're here. So, <clears throat> how are you, Cassie? You good? Never better. Hey, one, one day at a time, yeah? <laughs> um, do we need a round of coffees or...? Um, um, no, no, let me go. Tell her I'm not getting high. I'm not a charity case, you know. Okay. So whatever weird intervention this is, you can just let it go. Alright. Maeve making you bring your baby here is weird. She's obsessed. She loves you. She just wants to know what happened to Wilder's baby. Your baby? I'm not here to judge you, Cassie. Being a mother can be really overwhelming. I'm not a mother. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You ran away last year, away from your kids. Yeah, away from my kids. 
and my husband and my life. I was so jealous you could just do that. Just tap out and do your own thing. How did you feel? Uh, free for a minute. Then I felt guilty and desperate and really lonely for the rest. Doing my own thing nearly cost me my whole family. I ended up in a clinic. For what? Drugs? No, postnatal depression. What it taught me was that whatever it is you're going through, shutting out the people that love you is the worst thing you can do. Doesn't matter if you're being an asshole. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you, if you don't think you're worthy. What matters is letting the love in. So take it if you can get it. I'll take it. Oh, thank you. That'd be great, Kissy. Hi, Papa. <laughs> oh. Hey. What did you say to her? I just told her that we're all screw ups. Kissy's not even my daughter, and I'm managing to screw her up. Don't do that. You can't take the blame for her behaviour, just like you can't take the credit. Okay, what have you been reading? Parenting 101? It's a lifelong journey, Maeve. Oh, indeed. Yes. But, I mean, if it means I get to finish my lunch in peace, I am happy. Actually, I might go and, um, check if they're okay. Oh, Kissy, let me take her. No. Kissy, she needs some mum. Kissy, give her back. No. But Kissy, like, um, give her here, I'll give her a, a change or, or a feed. Just give her, give her back. Honey, just talk to me. No, get away from me. Casey, can you please give me my daughter back? Casey, if you just give her to me, everything is going to be all right. I can't. Casey, give her back. Now. No, I'm sorry. Just come over here, honey. Everything's going to be all right. No, not one step closer. I mean it. No, don't make her stop. It's me, it's mum. It's Casey's just... She's looking after you. She's just keeping you safe. Yeah, Cassie, she's just a little bit unsettled, okay? And hungry? Yeah. No, don't. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Hey. You okay? I feel horrible. You hungry? No. Me neither. Do you want to talk about it? No pressure. She must hate me. What, well, you gave her a bit of a scare? Yep. And me too. <laughs> but no harm done, honey. Sky's absolutely fine. I'm sorry. Maybe it was all just a bit too triggering. I don't even know where my baby is. Or if he's okay, if he's safe, or even alive. I, I didn't protect my baby. I will chart you some anti-nausea medication that'll stop the vomiting. Then you can rehydrate and hopefully we won't have to see you in here again. I'll be right back with that, okay, Bonnie? Hey, she is just a kid that got too drunk. Take it easy. She is taking up space in ED. What the hell? Well, I just don't want to deal with preventable crap like teenage hangovers when we're slammed. You don't know what happened to her. You barely asked her a question. I didn't need to. I remember what it's like being that age. Oh, excuse me, but since when were you ever a young woman? Okay, good point. Sorry, I'm just a bit tense today. Yeah, I think we all are. That's what I heard. Cassie had a bit of a meltdown with Sky. Yeah, yeah, that was a worry. But, you know, I think she's had a breakthrough, starting to grieve for her baby and what she's lost. Well, that's a world of pain. Is someone with her now? Ah, uh, we had a really, a really great chat and I, well, she said she'd be okay, so. Okay. Are you gonna up the security at your place? Cameras and sensors and stuff? I don't need to do that. She's proven she'll do anything to get high, Maeve. You can't take what she says at face value. Hey, how's James doing next to you? 
No change. Well, how's it down here? Do they know if it's norovirus yet? No, they're all clear. Apparently it's just a high dose of laxatives. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Still could be threatening for older patients, though. Right. Hey, um, after the last couple of days that we've had, don't you think we deserve a proper night out? Uh, with the whole flight, I mean. I'm not sure I'd have the energy. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Don't be old. I mean, Mon's keen. That would be tempting, but I see her every day, huh? Oh, okay, boring. Hey, I'm not boring. Then prove it by coming out tonight. Uh, watching you two flirt over laxatives is worse than cleaning it up, so can you please go and do it somewhere else? Ha <laughs> uh -huh, very funny. <laughs> Uh, blood results came back from Mr. Calgary. And? Not what we hoped. Do you want me to be there when you tell him? I can handle it. Suit yourself. Did I miss something? Uh, that, I think, is a, a love triangle. Right? Yeah. How's Sky? Fine. And not what I'm worried about. How's Cassie? Well, she had a breakdown last night. Feels guilty. Today? She's grieving. Thinking about her baby. It's a big move forward. Yeah. But I think more... Vulnerable than ever. Mm. Well, her emotions are bound to catch up with her at some point. Painful, but it is the road to recovery. Yeah, yeah. God, I feel like I should just quit, you know, and just be at home with her full time, just until she's through all of this. We don't know how long that will take. Yeah. Well, I miss Nick. <laughs> I've just driven her and Bailey away. Not for long, I bet. Hey, and I've got your back. Don't forget that. Mm. See, you tell me what you've taken. It's my fault. Hey, I'm not mad, okay? Just tell me what you've taken. I lost my baby. My baby's gone. It's my fault. We don't have to talk about that now. I let you down. You were in Wilder. He'll never forgive me. You don't know that? Yes, I do. He's watching me and he knows. Like God. I'm a bad person. Hey, you look at me. Cassie, you are not a bad person. You are a good person. Okay, and bad things have happened to you. And you made a mistake tonight, but... We can fix this. No, we can't. Yes, we can. You are going to get clean and you are going to get sober. We're doing it together, okay? You'll get through this. No. No. Cassie, I need to know what you've taken. I'm like this because I'm evil. It's true, I know it's true. You're not evil. My mother says I am. Okay, forget that religious rubbish. You're a backslider, Cassie. You need to repent and ask for forgiveness before it's too late. And here's a big long list of your sins. Stop, okay? Now, you need to tell me what this is and where you got it. Was it that guy from last time? Only someone evil would be high when she gave birth to a baby. <sighs> God, I should never have got you to spend time with Harper's kids. You tried to help. You were kind. You helped me remember. Do you remember what happened? Who has the baby? No, I remember who I am. Just a druggie who doesn't know if her baby's alive or dead. God, what kind of person am I? Just ugly inside and always will be. Look, I'm not saying it'll be a great movie, but hey, we both need to chill. What's up? Me and Kara, we snuck into the movies one time. Yeah? Yeah, we just walked right in. The guy on the door didn't even check if we had tickets. <laughs> I had my legs tucked up and I had this weird feeling. I couldn't work it out at first, then I realized it was the baby. First kick. I put my legs down. Kicking stopped. I wanted it to stop. I didn't want to know about it. I remember Saskia, my ex, um, Wilder's birth mother. She was so shocked when it happened the first time. <laughs> she was just like, oh my God, I have a tiny wee human in here. We bolted and didn't finish the rest of the movie. I just had to get out of there. Two days later, I woke up in someone's garage with a joint in my hand. You okay? I'm sorry I lost it again last night. Hey, I get it. God, I didn't help. Here, let's enjoy being around Harper's baby. It's not your fault I freaked. Kind of was, but thank you for saying that anyway. But let's you and me come up with some sort of plan Okay, for when you feel tempted to use, because you know that dealer can't come around here. I know. Okay. Movie first, yeah? I just want you to know.
know that we're not giving up. And I, I need you to keep us updated. Okay. Thank you. Who's that? Police. Are they still looking? Yeah. I really think the baby's still alive. I don't know, honey. I hope so. Yeah, so he's got him now. I don't know. He had to be taken by someone like me, Sleepy Raph. Maybe. Don't get me wrong, there's good people out there, but some are even more messed up than me. Yeah, well, I guess all we can do is hope. Can't even look after themselves, let alone a baby. Hey, you're getting clean now. When you're strong, you'll be looking after your baby. If he's still alive. Casey, we can't do this. We can't give up. We have to think loving, positive thoughts. Like a name? For the baby. Knox. As in Chris Knox, because while there was such a stand, I thought it sounded cool. I, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's a, it's a great name. I love it. It's not too weird? No, not at all. Your baby's name is Knox. <laughs> oh.